Good morning, AXA Carbar team. My name is Coach Rich Campy, and I'm so excited to be with you this morning. In fact, I didn't even get my suit on. I just left my workout clothes on because I thought this is such an exciting topic to really create a vision and something bigger than who you are. Do you wake up in the morning and say, good God, it's morning? Or do you wake up in the morning and say, good morning, God? How do you wake up every day? Is it the alarm clock or is it the clock that says, oh my gosh, we get to start a new day? And don't get me wrong, there are days I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna hit that snooze 10 times in a row. I just can't take it. I've gotta sleep in, right? There are days like that. But what keeps me going is my passion and my vision about the future and what it is. Because so often we live looking back in the rear view mirror, right? And how often can we drive forward looking in the rear view mirror, we're gonna crash. Right? So it's really key to keep our focus on what we want. It's like the race car driver, right? Drives around and around the, the track and you know what? There's a little skid button in the passenger seat. And when a new driver first starts, that coach pushes the button in the floorboard, causes one tire to lift just a little bit off the ground, causes the car to spin out of control. Where do you think that new driver focuses when the car spins out of control? That's right, the wall. They focus on the wall and where does the car go? The wall. So the key is how do we manage our focus? We have between 45,000 and 65,000 thoughts per day. What if we can manage our focus so well that when something happens, boom, we automatically focus on what we want. So that race car driver coach, he literally forces the driver's head to look at what he wants. And the car takes a little bit of a lag time and then it regains composure and starts going around the track again, right? And he trains it again and again and again. Push the skid button, spin out of control. Boom, back to the open road, back to the open road, back to the open road. But what happens in life so often is something happens, right? I mean, I've been through stuff as I'm sure all you have. You know, I have kids, I have grandbaby, you know, both my parents passed away in the last six years. I've had business ups and downs. I've had health issues. Stuff has happened, right? We can't avoid it. Stuff happens to everybody. But how do we keep going when the adversity or that wall or the spin happens in our life? We have to create an anchor or something that we're compelled to pull us into that space. And this has been it for me, right? I mean, 18 years old, this is now going on almost 30 years, right? So do the math real quick, I'm 47. Going on 30 years, I created this little tool for myself and, and it really helped to anchor me over time when it was really tough. and. I wasn't sure I could pay the bills or health-wise, I had really bad allergies for a while and I wasn't sure I can get through that stuff and watching my parents pass away and you know holding their hand as they died and all the cancer treatments they had gone through and, and just really hard stuff over time. But if you have a compelling future, something big and bold that pulls you forward, you can reset. So when that alarm clock goes off, you could say, you know what, today's a new day. It's a fresh day. It's a place I can move towards my direction, towards my purpose, towards where I wanna go. Unfortunately, most don't take the time, they don't stop from all the busyness and the tyranny, the urgent, to stop and take the time to really look at what you want and what the future looks like. So, you know, back almost 30 years ago, I created this and I have five values I came up with, which was freedom, health and vitality, making a difference, passion, and growth or growing. And my purpose was that I know the purpose of my life is to live a, a life vibrant, healthy, full of passion, love, and ecstasy for all of God's creations. To have the freedom to do what I want, when I want, whenever I want, to give, receive, and accept abundance in my life while being connected to the universal energy force called God and growing at lightning speed in all directions. I created that at 18 years old and it's been a driving force for me. It's, it's, it's my own special code of what was important. It's my license plate says Kanai on it, C-A-N-I, constant and never ending improvement, right? And I believe in that passion of just always looking at how can I make it a little bit better to make other lives better because of something I was involved in or something I could participate in. And it always, it hasn't been easy. I tried to start this business at 20 years old. I lost $30,000 of other people's money and they were calling me daily asking for the money back. It took me five, six months before I paid everyone back and then I went into the corporate world and I spent almost 18 years in the corporate world learning and experimenting. In fact, I always felt like my job that I had is I was getting paid to get an education. 
What if every day you showed up and say, you know what? I'm getting paid to learn, right? I'm showing up here every day to check those phones or work on recruiting or work on processing or compliance or whatever they happen to be, and I'm getting paid to work. Because if you change your mindset to a place of Curious George, right, where you're always learning every day, it all starts to shift. So I really brought that place into my work environment all the time of how can I learn something new every single day? How can I be a state inducer, right? No matter what I was doing, I used to sell pagers back in the day. And I always believed in, I sold pagers, but I was really a state inducer. I said, I wanted everyone to feel just a little bit better because I was around. How could I make someone laugh a little bit more or smile? And I know when I'm there and I get to see all you guys, there's lots of times that happens. And there's lots of times you're impacting me in amazing ways by just saying hello or what's up. And there's times I'm going, oh my gosh, what happened? She's really having a hard day or he's having a hard day. And it's impacting everyone around you, right? Your family and your coworkers and all that stuff. So to create a big vision board or something bold into the future is awesome. And you guys brought me to a whole new level because I created this vision board, right? Which I hadn't done this since I was back 18 years old, but I just show you here what's on my vision board. And you can see kind of the center for me is all about family and my wife and God. And, you know, here's um, my mom here. I told you she passed away, but I just have a lot of great memories. And we, we built this whole um, uh, water fountain kind of a bird bath around a memorable garden for her. And that's been a big part of my vision, just remembering her and into the future as we go. And here's my dad here and a great golf trip that we had gone on together. So I'm even pulling some things from the past into the future because it's a big part of my life and what my parents had done. And even though they're not here, I have awesome memories of stuff that was there and awesome memories of seeing them again at some point in eternity. Um, so I got all this stuff here and I wanna travel more. So I've got the airplane over here and you know, I love cars and so some different cars that I wanna see. And you know, over here's my grandbaby. You can see him here kissing his little cheek. He's 10 months old now. He started to dance when he hears songs. And here's Car Barth over here and all the stuff that's happening around the team and being the President's Trophy and Chairman's Trophy winner and just fire walking and breaking barriers and pushing it to the next level. It's just a huge part. And, Here's some more friends down here and we're dirt biking and, and riding together and just having fun together. And here's a sunset. I love beaches. Walking, you know, is awesome. Just holding hands with Lori or just hanging out on the beach, tossing a football. Love that space. Um, here's a big fish. I didn't catch the fish, but it's one of my dreams is to catch a big fish like this. It's a good friend of mine, Brian. He caught the big fish, but it's in the, in the works. Um, some of you might have maybe uh, steppers, uh, little watches that you wear that show how many steps that you've done. And it's kind of cool. I, I One time I actually did 122,000 steps in a week. It's the only time it happened. I'm, I'm usually about six or 7,000 in a week. 10,000 is kind of my goal, but it's fun to just put it out there, right? Like, where do you want to be? What could it be? And I've got these rocking abs that I put down here. Some guy that hears me, I'm like, oh, I got to get to this place here. But, you know, where are you from a health standpoint? Where do you want to be from a health standpoint? Um, I love hanging out with my friends and going bowling is big here. And um, golfing, there's a little picture of the golf here. And here's the Pro Advisor Coach team up here and some of our inner circle team and just building our team together. I love that. Um, reading the Bible is really important to me. Um, Carolina Panthers winning the Super Bowl. <laughs> Why not put that on the vision board, right? I mean, they didn't win last time, but next year I'm sure Cam will sharpen up and we'll have a better year. Um, so anyway, just a lot of things in here that are important to me um, from the past, but also compelling things into the future. And so that's what this vision board is all about is how do you create something bigger than who you are? right? And let yourself, give yourself permission to dream. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be cut out exactly right. It doesn't have to be glued on. So all of you, it should be this way. It should be that way. Stop shooting all over yourself and just get some neat stuff down on paper and just create a vision. Give yourself permission to dream again, like a kid, right? Like the kid who jumped in the puddle and has a blast have some fun with your vision boards. I can't wait to see those when I'm out there and I walk around the office to see your vision boards up, but have some fun. What's your bigger why? What's your purpose? And again, you know, you're waking up in the morning and saying, 
good God, it's morning, or are you waking up saying, good morning, God? Go from hopeless to hopeful, right? Make that shift. Focus your attention on what you want because when we focus on what we want, we're going to get more of that. That's just the way our brains work, right? If we focus on it, we get more of it. Now, there's a little lag time in there just like the driver. Once you focus on what you want, it doesn't happen immediately, right? Thank God because as we think about bad stuff, it goes that way too. So there's a little lag time in there. So give yourself some space to just create what you want and give it time to grow, right? It takes time for the plants to grow. So have fun with your vision boards. I can't wait to see them. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy the time that you have together, and we will see you real soon. This is Coach Rich Campy saying thanks for this time, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye-bye.